Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. I am your host, Daniel Atai. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Spectacle on your favorite station, Television Nigerian. I am your host, Daniel Atai, and today we will be discussing the issue of police extortions on the various roadblocks. And uh, we also will be looking at the political party decamping, whether it is appropriate or legal. Uh, we'll be having some persons to join us and... Uh, to give their contribution, contributions to the topic on discussions, especially the constitutional background. Stay tuned after this timeout, we'll be with you. The issue here so, we have to begin to look at um, is that at the time of independence, I don't know if there was a trajectory to where we are going to. But how, how could it be that credible, free and fair under manual conduct of election. That is where our problem lies and that is why people are now seeing that, advising that we should move, that the world has gone into digital. We should move from the manual to the digital. We cannot keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result. The only way you create jobs from your ministry is that you have to, you have to encourage local content. If you look at uh, the profile of Sally Mama, mm -hmm. there is a caveat in this uh, leave given to him. He should seek medical help if he is fine. Welcome to Spectacle on Television Nigeria. Yeah, you're welcome back. Like I said, we'll be looking at that, uh, these two topics, the political decamping that upgraded the nation uh, after the Supreme Court verdict that enthroned some governors and dethroned others. Uh, in far away Imo State, we, we learned that about nine legislators, especially at the state level, the State House of Assembly in Nemo State to come to the All Progressive Congress from the People's Democratic Party uh, in the wake of uh, the enthronement of Governor Uzodima of uh, Imo State. Uh, we will begin, apart from that, we will begin from the police is your friend and uh, how friendly are the police officers guiding our land protecting the lives and properties of our nation and our populace. Uh, we want you to give your take into this. Uh, the numbers and the lines are open. They are displayed on your screen. Uh, the extortion on roadblocks uh, by the police uh, men, especially at the roadblocks in various parts of the nation, what does it pretend? And uh, what <coughs> image is that given to Nigeria? Is it that they are not being paid their allowances and salaries, or it has become a normal habit uh, by these law enforcement agents. We'll be looking into that with you, and the opinion will be well you know, noted and taken, so you give us your contributions. And with me in the studio are two gentlemen, political analysts, social commentators, and reputable comrades in the Nigerian uh, system. First, my fire right is a comrade, Great Felix. 
Great Felix is the Vice President of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, North Central Zone. And uh, at the middle, with the blue attire, is a right comrade, John Acha. Right comrade John Acha is the President of Good Governance Nigeria, uh, Good Governance for Africa Initiative. He's also a political analyst and a social commentator. Gentlemen, you are welcome to Spectacle. Thank you. Thank I'll you so begin much. from you, Great Felix. Uh, as a president, vice president of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, this should also concern you uh, and your, the people you represent at the North Central Zone and in the country at large. Uh, a situation where every one kilometer you see roadblocks for policemen and uh, we know it is good because they are protecting lives and properties they are watching against uh, insecurity activities from hoodlums and armed robbery and so on uh, but the wave of extortion there is one they call uh, uh, YT which is 15 era you have to a driver a commercial driver who have to tip the 15 era to the policemen uh, at the roadblocks. We no longer accept the 15 era even. We have the IT, <laughs> we have the, there is one they call the green card. Which the, is? The green card is the 200 naira. And, uh, and uh, <laughs> if you are loaded with lorry, uh, you are yeah. with a lorry and you are carrying, conveying uh, domestic goods like agricultural produces, is 500. And not only the police, not only the police, even the road safety. I have, I have a lot of examples, witnesses, pictures and so on, on camera where road safety will stop a bus loaded with agricultural produces and they will say, the own is 500 naira. They pay 500 naira even up to 2,000. It is not the concern of whether you are with the driver's license or you are with your uh, vehicle <coughs> particulars. So by the time you present your particulars and they ask you for this, that, and you give everything, they will still say that very one. We know we could encourage the policemen uh, for doing their job, and the federal government, of course, is also encouraging them to doing their jobs. But then, why the incessant extortion by the police extorting Nigerians before they could move, and especially why the roadblocks, one kilometer after the other. What are they really checking? So let me have your take. Thank you, Nigerians, and then thank you, followers and listeners, audience. Uh, my name is Komit Felix Onu. I've been Okay, oh, yeah. thank you. Uh -huh. uh, thanks for that uh, opinion, or for the question. Um, I'd like to state here without reservation but the Nigerian police force under the leadership of the present IEA Inspector General of Police yeah. is leading with the moral burden of laundering her image. Okay. The Nigerian police force must demonstrate through an actionable plan to true integrity later launder her own image. The issue of uh, police extortion of uh, road users on the highway it's as old as any news we know in Nigeria. And I think it has come to a point where we should critically look inward and sanitize the police system of this country. How do we do that? Yeah, part of the way we should do that, first of all, I want to freely recommend that the Nigerian police force or the police, uh, uh, yeah, the Nigerian police force should put together, first of all, a mental assessing exercise that assess the mental stability of every police or intending police officers. Okay. Unfortunately, most people that get into paramilitary and police job in this country do that out of security, out of fear of insecurity. Yeah. Financial insecurity, I mean. People are no longer getting into these critical go agencies of government or critical agencies, security agencies to protect lives and property, to save the fatherland, but they are doing that just to secure self financial security. Hmm. A situation where is being where people are paying money to become to to, to, to to be enlisted in any paramilitary or in any government and recruitment process. If you pay money, you are not going there for passion. We see what the police is in other parts of the world. Where is the passion? 
There is no passion. People are doing this because, first of all, to secure security. They are not doing it because of the passion to save the fatherland. Unfortunately, in spite of the remuneration that is being uh, portrayed to be given to these people or being alleged to be given to these police people, if you go to, if you drive through the highway, the Nigerian police force, not all of them though, predominantly a vast majority of Nigerian police officers on the highway collect money from commuters. Yeah, I traveled uh, over the weekend and we were stopped by a great lock of a traffic jam and uh, I thought it was an accident. Lo and behold, when we got to the checkpoint, it wasn't an accident. It was a police extorting money from people. I will not, <clears throat> I do not have uh, his video clip here with me. I was able to do one or two stuff on him. Capturing. Yes, and uh, I saw them collecting 50, 50 naira, 500, 200, depending on what you carry in your vehicle and from my observation they are actually not searching whether you are carrying exhibits or contraband or whatever they, they are not interested in that they are interested in that stipend and then before they will now clear the road for you and they come with that No, before then, you are not far from the truth. Let yeah. me tell you, if you, are, if you travel frequently on Nigeria roads, mm. and then you travel interstate, you get stopped. Sometimes when these police people stop you, they may be listening to this. Mm. When they stop you, they don't stop you to search you. They stop you to exploit you. They are now enforcing exploitation on Nigerians and commuters on the highway. Yes, I bet you that someone can be carrying illegal, illicit objects in their car. The moment you come, if you are able to even give one 1,000 naira, if you don't take care, they will give you co a coverage, <laughs> a, a security man. coverage, <laughs> to wherever you are going. No. It's that bad. Yeah. And exploiting Nigerians is one major reason, exploiting commuters on the highway is one major reason why the Nigerian police force is start a corrupt organization. Mm -hmm. And I think the Nigerian police or, or the leadership of the Nigerian police force must look inward to start sanitizing mm -hmm. this on un, this undesiring element that are portraying her image in the bad lights before mm -hmm. Nigeria and the, the world. Okay, that is the assignment for the IGP now. Yes. And uh, Comrade Acha. Yes. What could result to this decadence in uh, patriotic citizens, especially officials that are supposed to be expedient in uh, watching lives and properties, protecting them well, as well. First and foremost, calling them patriotic beats my imagination. They are not patriotic. When yeah, you... I think they are patriotic. <laughs> no, no, they no, are no, patriotic. With a few exceptions. They are patriotic. Very few exceptions. Which is the reason why I want to join the Nigerian police force. A, a, like a, a system, system, the positive force. A system, oh, like, good. an organization that is so corrupt. You know, we must, first of all, like he rightly said, give kudos to the Nigerian police. They've been trying under the present IGP, you know, the rates of uh, kidnapping. I think it, it has reduced a little bit, even though it is still there. You know, and even the, these kidnappers are being caught. But the issue of extortion yeah. is an issue that personally I see it as a systematic rot. Okay. It is an issue that has been there, like you rightly said, right from the first second republic of this country. You see, if you say maybe the policemen are not being paid well, I will say, okay, maybe that should be the fact. So maybe that should be the reason. But these guys are being paid well. They are being paid well to the best of my understanding. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. right. They are, you know, relatively, the, the recruits, let me call them like that, you know, mm -hmm. they are take home pays, the constables, the constables but they are all recruits. The mm -hmm. constables, like you rightly put it, you understand, mm -hmm. they, to a certain extent, they are take home pay can take them home. Okay. But why do they keep extorting Nigerian citizens? Why? It is because most Nigerian police officers live above their means. Okay. You understand? Okay, could you explain that? Let me explain it. You will see a police officer living in the barracks, a constable that you know, he knows that maybe my salary is 45,000 naira a month. Won't you plan your pocket according to your means? You are, they are busy having two, three, four, five, six children, having an array of girlfriends outside that they need to service. 
you enter every every almost every drinking bars every evening and you see police police officers especially in the states in the hinterlands you see police officers you understand drowning themselves in beer All do right. you expect such a person to come out you will realize that whenever they're on the road because they know that that their salary cannot take them to where they want to go to they devise other means of extorting money secondly when I say systematic fraud, right from the top, you think these people collect the money for themselves? You think they don't settle somebody? Hmm. They settle one of the officers. Or an officer that is in charge, or an officer that has put them there. So the thing is, has become so normal, you understand, that it takes me just 1,000 naira from here to Lagos to transport maybe 50 AK 47s. Hmm. Because I can unload them in my boots. Change the 1,000 naira to 100 or 50, 50 naira, and at every interval I, I reach, I give them 50 naira and I go. Which is very, very wrong. And that is the danger. It, a a the very point. serious danger. It, it is a very serious. In fact, it has increased the proliferation of small and light arms as far as this country is concerned. That is why you see everywhere you go. I don't know if you, are, if you follow social media, you see that there's, a, there's an increased rate of young people, youth, having access to small light arms, okay. having access to pistols, having access to AK-47, having access to Glocks, hmm. which is very wrong. You know, most of the armor bars you see today, well, the, okay, now the, 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 the armor bridge situation that happened in Pape, who supplied the weapons? They, they did it hand in hand with a former uh, military officer and of course the police officer, because the guns they collected were rented. You know, mm -hmm. so these are the illicit things that the police need to change. There need to be an attitudinal change as far as the Nigerian police is concerned. A reorientation. And like my comrade rightly said, every police officer or every intending police officer that wants to serve the nation needs to put under some one some, 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 some kind of mental check. Okay. Because what you see nowadays are people, most of these guys are Indian hemp smokers. Enlisted into you know, and listed into that, you see, you know, we've had cases, drug, drug we've abusers. We've had cases where trigger happy police officers have shot at Nigerian students, yes. shot at drivers who are, in, in who are it for happened, refusal it to happened. give them money on the highway. Yes, we had that in Benesis some time ago. The cases is, is so abundant, even, even in uh, or you have it's very, you know, because, so, first of all, what you check is that you check the mental stability. Yes. Some of these officers, some of them are not emotionally stable, stable. some live with very money, they don't even know their gun is cocked ready to kill. to kill. Do you understand? And the moment you refuse to give them this money, okay, police now do, does, does the job of the road safety officers and vehicle inspection officers at the point. But then, for, se for, for, ne for when necessity demand, they should do certain things. But mm -hmm. one thing I also want to advocate using this platform is this. Mm -hmm. Nigerians and road commuters in Nigeria must know their rights. Yes. We uh, must know our know, rights. You know, often, what the, po the police job also is limited to a point. Yeah. And it's defined by the terms in the constitution. Yeah. Yeah, that is it. Uh, uh, what what baffles me at times is the fact that uh, uh, these are cops. You know, when in the United States of America, you see a cop say, "I'm a cop," or moving on the road and you hear a siren. Uh, the police are coming. Everybody maintain their status quo. Uh, in Nigeria, here. If you compare our checkpoint, although is a is the first world country where we cannot compare our democracy and security to, because of the apparatus involved in checkmating in security, but the fact remains that the essence of the police force, which is not even enough for the Nigerian populace, and a large chunk or a large number of the policemen are stationed on the highways believing that they are to protect crime or uh, crimes ranges from Ambrobi and so on on the highway. Why have they turned it a duty post for this stipend? And recall Several Inspector General of Police have come and gone, and upon inception, they will all.
promise to eradicate extortion. If we cannot get our security apparatus to be disciplined, what do we do from here? Okay. Yeah, if I may come in there, part of the reasons why you say that uh, the proliferation of lights and firearms have been on the increase is because of the tendency and of a, an average Nigerian police to corruption. Hmm. You understand? Hmm. I must tell you that the, 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 the taste, the hunger for corruptly induced wet for some public officers, particularly uniform officers, in this case, police officers, is very, very high. First of all, we should not just blame the Nigerian police force. When you are also comparing the Nigerian police force with other, other countries, you also check what is government's commitment to ensuring that these people are well paid? What is government's commitment to ensuring that we have a competent and up to uh, uh, global standard kind of a security uh, police officers police. in Nigeria? Yeah. How is government committed to them? At that when you should be paying, I think in, in, in developed world, yeah. security, their welfare is not is duly they are, taken they are care the, of. They are the highly paid. Their welfare is duly in taken care of. Countries. We are in a country where even police can even dare to go or threaten to go on on, 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 a, strike. on strike. If police forget that, even why we are also trying sometimes trying, trying to correct the Nigerian police force and you no know, make suggestions yeah. and they yeah. point yeah. out we, their we shortcoming. At, we look we at should, the if you allow the Nigerian police force to go on strike for 30 minutes, the level of crime that will be perpetrated in this country will be as striking. Yeah. It will be wild. So, they are doing their job. What we are trying to say is this. The Inspector General of Police must consciously put in place exercises that constantly reassess the mental stability and commitment of Nigerian police officers. And aside that, the government must be holistic and sincere in our approach to making sure that the welfare of Nigerian police officers and other security outfit are properly a priority to government. Okay. The increment that was promised prior to 2019 election, I don't know if it has been implemented. We should not be playing with the emotion of these people. Yes, exactly. A man who is hungry and is carrying gun is as dangerous as it does as, as, as it's as dangerous as the gun is carrying himself. Yes. The gun does not kill. It's man that kills. Exactly. A man who is hungry, who is frustrated, whose wife is insulting him because he cannot put food on the table, he cannot buy a loaf of bread for 500 naira, send his children to school. It's as angry, it's as dangerous as a, as a time bomb. And I think the government must pay must go beyond paying lip service and making white elephant promises to this security outfit to making sure that they back it up with uh, with, with implementation mm -hmm. they are humans and we must ensure that at least we must encourage the government to make sure they do the needful right, we should yeah. not just blame nigerian police think, think government must be responsible and responsive enough to make sure that the welfare of nigerian police officers is treated with utmost priority that's good i think you have raised uh some vital points you 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 noted that uh, of the fact that uh, first of all there before intake police recruitment there should be mental you know checks, assessment assessment exercise uh, assessment exercise and mental stability and if assessment and, exercise. and if possible family background you know psychological background down to the family level uh, your emotions and so on your stability i think uh, uh, they are listening, and uh, if you want to make your contribution, the lines are displayed on the screen. Uh, Comrade Acha, you, do you think that from what these guys are used to on the roadblocks, that even if the police uh, remuneration is increased to maybe, uh, let's say, 500,000 per policeman in a month, do you still think that they would continue this habit of extorting money from commuters on the way? You see, you see, personally, I don't think it's about the welfare. Yes, the welfare plays a very important role, role mm -hmm. in the attitude these policemen display along our checkpoints. Okay. But have you noticed that even soldiers these days collect money on the road. Have you noticed? Yeah, I noticed. I've, I've, I've seen. I've Let seen. me give you a vivid example. Okay. The other time I was coming from uh, Otupo and we decided to pass Oweto uh, Bridge. I think somebody is calling in. Let's uh, 
check if the call is uh, is uh, for this program. Hello, are you calling for the program? Okay. okay, we are on the program and uh, we are talking about uh, the police extortion on the roadblocks. What is your take? We are live on air. Hello? Uh, give us your take. Austin, Austin from FCT, what is your take on the police extortion on roadblocks? And what should the government do? Okay. Yeah, because uh, it, 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 it's not constitutional. Okay. It's not something uh, 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 the government. It's not something constituted, uh, constituted by the government. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 we believe the government should do something about it. What do you think the government should do? Yeah. You know, for every doing, there must be a reason to win. All right. Okay. For every doing, there must be a reason. So. When you know, like most persons, most of the persons working in the government today never passes through the due processes in doing the work. Okay. Most of them gain this work via, via for that reason or one of the person they know without knowing, without going through the rules and the regulations guiding the work they are doing. All right. So they should be educated. Why they need to go to the road there? They should be. They should be aware of the reason why they are going to the road. Right. And if, if and again, I want to ask you that if anyone is assigned, like if there are special persons to be on the road, then they should have a special payment adding to their salary. Okay, yes. okay, okay. 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 Well, so, so that if, 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 if what they will be taking from the road, if, 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 you know, some love this to go to the road because of what they will get from the road. Yes, yes. You understand? So, yes. because of what they will get. So, by the time your salary or there will be an additional payment if you go to the road, then I think that would also make some of them not to do that. <laughs> All right. Thank and, and, some, and some of them that go to the road, the organs that send them to the road also take shares from it. Okay. What, what do you think should be a major of deterrent? Yeah. The, 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 the solution I felt the, to the solution to me is that if we can start dealing from the head, because once one is being caught from the road, there must be someone that sent that person to the road. All right. Okay. So All if right. we start, the, if the government can start dealing from the head, then those are the those the, those down will beginning to fear in collecting it. All right. That's good. Anyway, thank you, Austin, for calling into the program. Your, uh, yes, I was, I was talking before yes. the call came in. Yes. I was trying to let you know that. You know, he, he, he also said that the caller just called, and, you know, we're all talking about adding money, adding money. First of all, what are they being paid for? That is in, increment yes. in their salary. Increment in their salary. And he mentioned that if they are going... Going on, on a uh, particular duty, they uh, should be uh, given... Because the duty itself is risky. Yes. And they should be given extra. But that is the essence Just of... That, that the is way why the politicians took that, have extra that is why. That is why, you, <laughs> that is why you are a policeman. Okay. That is the job you are being paid for. To safeguard... Citizens or uh, individual people, uh, citizens and property. Now, do, do you, you, em, do you no, envision no, 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 or no, 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 envisage the time in this country where you could bribe a cop and he will say no? It can happen. Uh, what, is it, what, what is the strong political will? It, from now, it's very possible. Okay. Maybe in the next, but I cannot give you a time frame. Okay. But before that can happen, there need to be a strong political will on the on, on the parts of the leaders. All right. Strong money. Monitoring of these people, monitoring and yes. team. you know, that go around to monitor, see, dress in like normal civilians like us, mm. go there, dress as a driver. Okay, most of these people they see even soldiers collected these days. Yeah, I, so it is, a, it is an it is, a, it, is a, it, it is something well, I, I first say it is a systematic rot. Okay, it is an we need attitudinal change, All right. it's not about the money. Uh, Some yeah. people will still be paid 
500 thousand naira, yeah. and they will still want to look for that. Naira you know? be very, very you, you understand? <laughs> so to add to what no, they call it shiny, you know, uh, uh, whitey. So, so, so when they see, when you bring to me, orient our yeah, I want to what, uh, what uh, my <laughs> comrade yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to quickly add something to it. Okay. You see, the Nigerian police force is an agency of Nigerian government. Yes. Yeah. We want to see synergy and interagency part, uh, partnership and uh, cohesion. Okay. What I mean by this. Uh, Nigeria youths or Nigeria intending Nigeria who intend to get into any of these security outfits, yeah. they go through a process of orientation and camping. Yeah. That process, I see that is very, very needful and very necessary that okay. the National Orientation Agency should play a prominent role yes. of reorienting Nigerians on the need okay. why joining a security outfit should right. be born out of passion to save the fatherland. Of course. Uh, good morning. Uh, what is your name and where you are calling from? I hope you are watching us live. Okay, what is your contribution towards the topic on discussion? You are sitting on the, the situation of Nigerian police on the road. Yes. Particularly on the issue of extortion. Yes, on extortion. Uh, I just want to say a little bit here. Okay. Is Anthony. From, uh, sorry, uh, please. Sorry, Anthony, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Karo, Abuja. Okay, okay. From Karo, Abuja. Particularly, uh, I think from the television, uh, you know, the world so much on the rape issue. Okay. But I just want to make something obvious. Like Comrade Ata was talking about, he said, even if you pay, if you give Nigerian police all the money in the world, they will still collect a uh, bribe or whatever we call it on the road. Yeah. If he is looking at, we are not looking at money here. Welfare must not be restricted to money. Hmm. What Nigeria police need is welfare, okay. not with a salary as the case may be, salary, treatment, or whatever you call it. Okay. When you have a worker that does not have social security, hmm. what such man look at is how will I, I you know, create the social security for myself? Hmm. Because one thing, you send the man to the road, that man has about five children at home, Lucas is there, hmm. food is there, uh, accommodation is there, everything is transport is there, everything is coming from that salary you are paying. Hmm. You give the man maybe hundred thousand a month, salary, transportation, everything, all the allowances you can name is included. Hmm. And you expect that man to feed for the family and come to work and start the very world. Most of them are not concerned. And you have police to make the best police in the world. Hmm. But what they don't have is that they don't have the capacity to do the job. Hmm. We have trained them. Yes, it, it's the life. One thing we also need is how good are we in background, uh, you know, check. Hmm. In security, they go with top background check. How good are we in it? In doing it. You, you will have somebody that is coming into Nigeria police. Nobody knows where the man is coming from. Nobody even knows if the man is in Nigeria or not. Hmm. The member of that uh, Nigeria uh, police, hmm. how do we move, move on? What the government needs to do now is to go back to our drawing board, create a social welfare system for the Nigeria police and every other uh, security uh, organization. Somebody made mention sure that uh, the Nigeria army too is collecting bread now. Of course. Yes, yeah. they have to. The social uh, environment is changing, the need is increasing. People need to gather for their family, make sure their family also stay abreast with what is happening in the society. You cannot be having children of the privileged in good universities abroad and at home as the children of the policeman who stay in one public uh, school where you don't even have teachers that are paid. Now, uh, yeah, com uh, uh, Comrade Anthony. Yes, sir. Now, let me ask you this question. Okay. Are you justifying the act? Of extortion. That's no, that's no, no. That's number one. We must all come all right. that act. All right, hold on. Good. As a social scientist. Yeah, okay, good. Not, not, scientist, now, you, I you, believe that. You have, you have given us a valid point. You talked okay. about social welfare apart from the unusual salaries and allowances. Now, oh, oh, 
what the extortion entails is that they don't even collect these extortions from the big wings plighting the road if you notice it is just common commuters Thank you. Uh, drivers that they collect this shiny greeny and so on from and uh, these are also people who are trying to take care of their own families in their own small way most of them are not government officials and most of them are not even civil servants. Okay. They are not I'll politicians. Give I'll give you a very good instance. Maybe I'll give you an analogy, then you draw your conclusion from there. All right. As a social scientist, we look at the issue from the empirical point. Mm -hmm. If you, your child that you have at home, if the child is angry with you, you do something that the child does not like, and the child has your broken flip uh, on his hand. And the child knows very well that he cannot plug it. What would he do to that broken plate? Broken plate. He would throw it on the ground and break that broken plate. In anger, that, that, that is what we call. call. If you look at what the frustration aggression theory is telling us, is that when the man cannot hit the target, the person causing his problem, if he can't self the person, he needs a weaker point, a weaker uh, vessel that he will go and hit, so that the person will feel his uh, impact. For instance, because Boko Haram cannot get to Buhari in Abuja, they need to be killing innocent Nigeria for Buhari to listen to them. <laughs> okay. You know that? Yeah, yeah. So, we are telling you now that the Nigeria police knows that they cannot deal with the people causing their problem. Right. So, the person that will feed the baby, the ordinary Nigeria who doesn't have the defense, All it right. is a natural thing. Scientifically, it's a natural thing. All right. When man cannot fight his uh, enemy, he go for the lesser person that he can deal with. <laughs> All right, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, it's a major uh, uh, we... So, what Nigeria police need now, what they need is social security. Thank you when very much. When the man is certain that his life is going to be fantastic after uh, doing his job, for he's serving his country, I'm telling you that man will give his best. Not All what right. we are having now. All right, thank Even you. Even if we think on it, we not be more and the social security of this country continues to be a thing that is not a Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Anthony from Cairo. Your take is being uh, noted. I think that will be our last call and uh, last caller. We won't uh, take any other further call conclusively in one one minute because we have exhausted our yes. time. We wouldn't go into yes. that political because campaign of, the, of legislators yes. and so I on think again. We should also touch light on that yeah. because of the the. Uh, the urgency of time and then the, the time is completely off now. Part of what should be engraved or encapsulated in the social welfare that he mentioned, mm, housing is and the, so on. Government should at least place a word or a child of a police officer on scholarship. Okay, it's part of also advancing and promoting sound education in the country. All right, okay. education is no longer cheap in Nigeria. That will be all. Though we know that at any cost, education is cheaper than Comrade, ignorance. that will be all. We must you. look at the economic reality at the present time. So this is what we want government to do. It's not just. It's not totally the one of minute. Nigerian police officers. So well, 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 education of the Nigerian police, right from the top to the bottom. All right, good. You know, good. the proper monitoring and evaluation of these checkpoints. And the touching pockets you for you understand. the <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right, uh, Kenya police. Well, uh, the the Inspector General Police said they are going to yeah. detach their pocket. Yeah. If you yeah. detach yes. their pocket yeah. and they carry uh, handbags, what will you do? I said, police, I mean, that may be the last one that brings the handbags with regards that to... That is where Spectacle will stop today on TVN. You can follow the discussion on our social media platforms on twitter on facebook instagram just search television nigerian and on twitter at tv nigerian thanks for watching this is where we'll stop for today join us tomorrow for another interesting topic i've been your host well, daniel Atar. <laughs>